Nancy's and No 60 Avonside locomotive built in Bristol in 1908 and, and was named after the daughter of the man that built the engine. Nancy was an industrial engine built for the industries in England, for the ironstone industries, and pulled iron ore in Leicestershire in England all its life, pulling ironstone into the foundries uh, for smelting for steel. It never worked on passenger trains. And it was the only one of its type. And afterwards, Hunslet took over Avonside. And you could still get a, a Nancy type engine built by Hunslet's. But we don't think there was any other. And Nancy's unique. It's the only one of its type built in the world. The engine itself is a side, side tank locomotive with a bunker behind. Nancy has a narrow firebox because the, the firebox is inside the frames, the wheels are outside. So I don't know what kind of fuel we'll be burning in Nancy, probably timber, but if not, it'll be coal. It's a very attractive looking engine and looks like a, an Irish engine. I, the navigation engines in Ireland had their own look about them. Foreign engines just look different, but Nancy's a very Irish look and looks like a very, an early Loxwilly engine. And I have the gauge, the steam gauge of one of the big giants of the Loxwilly the 484's Huntsville Clark locomotives, and I have the whistle. So when Nancy comes back and she's in steam, the gauge will show the pressure that was on a Loxwilly engine, and the whistle would sound like a Loxwilly engine. And we will have to fit air brakes to it to, to pull passenger trains in Ireland, because you must have secondary brakes on steam engines when you're pulling passengers. And in 1960, uh, the 19, early 1960s, the um, production of Ironstone finished in, in England and the engine was sold to the Sterling brothers. They didn't do much with it, and uh, Lord O'Neill bought it for his line at Shane's Castle. In 1992, Lord O'Neill closed his railway. We bought the engine off him in about 1997. We sent it to Alan Keep for restoration, and it came to Drummond. It came from the north of Ireland to Drummond, and this coach that we're in now uh, was built in, in 1997 in Ross and Y, and it brought, was brought in by Lord Order. And the same low loader that brought in the coach from Ross and Y, we loaded Nancy and all our bits onto uh, the low loader and they went back to Ross and Y in 1997. So it's been a long, long time in, re in restoration, but a lot, a lot of money and a lot of uh, hard work to get, to get where we are today. We're, ne we're, in the, the, we're on the, the, last, the last furlong and then, then we'd ha uh, we'll have it done. She'll be home. We're here since 1992. And the first engine we brought to Drummond was an engine called Drummond, a 1916 Kerr Stewart, built in Stoke-on-Trent and worked in Loch Arbor in Scotland all his life. And we ran it for over 10 years here. And in 2004, it was the boiler cert was out. So we have hadn't had any steam engines since. But in the meantime, we bought Nancy and we've spent to date over 125,000 sterling on the restoration of the engine. Now the boom went bust and the recession came and we had to stop all systems and just survive over the last eight or 10 years. And we're only coming out of it now. So Nancy has to be finished before Brexit goes out, comes in because uh, we will have VAT and import duties and other things on top of the price that we're, we're paying for the engine. So today, since Christmas, I have risen over 10,000 euros and all together for the first tranche of the money I need uh, 10,000 sterling which is 13,000 euros and to date I've well over 10,000 euros uh, ready uh, got and I've only a few more thousand to get before the end of April and Nancy will be started again to be restored by October. With all the help from all our friends and we have a lot of them and they, they've helped me now in the last few months and uh, they've all donated towards Nancy. When the lines closed here in 1959, two engines got away. Kathleen is in Belfast, the big museum in Coldra, and Ladies in America. And one of the engines, one of the Tralee engines that came here was also in America and came back to Tralee and now is out of service in Tralee and it doesn't look like um, it'll be going anytime soon. So our next engine will be the next steam en narrow gauge steam engine restored in Ireland. There's two others that run at the minute. One at the West Clare, which is Sleep Callum, an engine from 1891, and there's another engine in Strab Valley. I support the Mona engine from 1949. So uh, our one will be the only Avon site in Ireland, the only Avon site steam locomotive. 
in going in going order.